everybody, this is Peter Chart Callis. How are you today? Good to be with you. A uh, lot of new stuff. So I want to get to some of the new stuff and then uh, get to my shave. So uh, first off, I have a couple new soaps from Holy Cow. Holy Cow. So um, this is the Vetivertol. And this consists of bergamot, coriander, lemon, some orange flower. It's, obviously, it's vetiver, so it has vetiver in it. And it settles on a base of uh, uh, pepper, cedarwood, tonka bean. It's got a really more earthy, vetiver type of vibe to it. Uh, really quite nice. Very light, lightly scented. Um, but, but it's nice. Holy cow, holy cow really lathers well. Um, the other one from Holy Cow, lathers well, performs ex extremely well. Um, the, only, the other one is this Jamestown Gentleman. Now, I first... Um, tried out the aftershave. I started with the aftershave. Usually I start out with the soap first and then get the aftershave. For whatever reason, I had purchased the aftershave some time ago. I really liked the scent. So um, I ordered this and this recently came in. This consists of bergamot, lavender, neroli, some light florals, musk, amber, and tobacco flower. Now, don't confuse this with tobacco leaf. This doesn't smell like the typical type of tobacco scented soaps that I gravitate towards. It's lovely, it's very, very, very nice. Again, lightly scented, um, but it isn't um, the tobacco leaf that you would smoke, it really is the tobacco flower. So uh, another very, very nice scent. I really like um, Sri Ram's aftershave. Uh, aftershaves, um, so I have Jamestown Gentleman. Now, I also, received Struth. Now Struth is through um, the straywhisker.com.au. So Khan Kazanzidis recently, within the last few weeks, opened up his shop in Australia. Now keep in mind guys, you know, when ordering from either Australia or Canada, the US dollar is very strong. And it's like a, a built-in discount for you guys. So when you order from um, a Canadian artisan, I mean, you're, re you're really paying very little. Uh, who was that? I think it was Magnus Gabrielson out of uh, Sweden. And some other guys had ordered stuff from Henriette Victoria. I think it was Magnus. And uh, they couldn't believe... At the time, there was a, a special going on. I think it was like a year-end type of deal. And so between the exchange rate and the discount, I mean, they bought a ton of stuff. So you can get some really nice stuff. This one here is really a nice, nice scent. I think originally it started out as a PAA um, providing this soap for a meetup in Australia. And I think, and, and Khan is now selling it in his shop, but it's a, it's a really nice leather scent, but it's got other, other things going on in this. Um, I took part in the, uh, the Wet Shavers Roundtable uh, yesterday and I asked um, um, Douglas about this and he says there's almonds in this as well because I was catching like a, a marzipan type of uh, scent so I recently and that's just really really nice I, I love tobacco and leather scented soaps um, I also recently re uh, received Le Pierre Lucien this is through the UK Wet Shaving Society um, uh, Facebook group and they have this apricot scented soap Man, does this smell nice. I mean, this is, I, I love LPL. And um, this stuff is great. So this, I haven't shaved with this yet, but apricot scented soap, lovely. I also received through TBS Shaving, TBS Shave, TVB, I'm sorry, I beg your pardon, TVBShaving.com, TVBShaving.com in Italy. They still, at least up until a few days ago, and I understand yesterday they were out, but they may be getting more in, I think. Um, Floyd Blue. This stuff is like, uh, you can't find this stuff anymore. They stopped making it. From what I hear, Italian barbershop scent in a glass bottle, a big, big bottle. And uh, I mean, this is going to last me a long time, but you know what? If they get this back in stock, I'm going I'm to order another one just to make sure... Because uh, I don't know if they'll ever produce this again. That stuff smells great. Now, I'm going to be shaving with today. It's a Panificio Veracino. And I've, I've shaved with this before. And I actually made a video of this. But this stuff is so great. 
I'm going to shave with it again. So this consists of, uh, you know, to me, it's like a cross between um, an aquatic and a barbershop top, barbershop type scent. More on the aquatic side, but this has geranium in it um, and lavender, which a lot of the barbershop scents have. So, I, I'm, I mean, I'm getting a little bit of that, but it's got uh, bergamot, lemon, uh, tangerine in the top notes. It's got that aquatic vibe, as I mentioned, lavender, jasmine, geranium um, in the middle notes. And then the, the, the base notes consist of uh, amber and vetiver. So um, it's, a, it's a lovely aquatic, but a little bit different than some of the, uh, the other aquatics that I have. This is a great, great, great soap. I want to shave with this today along with the aftershave. Now this is like a, um, um, not a typical aftershave. This is more like a milky type of, um, lo more of a lotion. Um, really, really, man, this stuff smells great. My only complaint with this soap is that, for whatever reason, I don't know why, it looks great, but it's a um, cheap tin lid. And it's not only me, but a lot of people have complained about dents because it's paper thin. I mean, it's just a really soft tin. I mean, this arrived with a, with a dent. Now, um, they, there's a lot of um, uh, vendors that are selling this soap. I got this from um, Justin Park's place, Shave Revolution, um, which is one of my favorite stores. I mean, not only do I love going there and hanging out with Justin, uh, he's got some great, great stuff. Um, let's go shave with it and uh, let's see how I do. See you over there in the in the man cave. All right, Saponificio Veracino. And I gave it a 30 second load. Again, I usually like to go dry first, which you can see this is, and then gradually add water. I like to work with it a bit. Using a beautiful, beautiful brush. You guys that are have watched my videos before have seen this. This was a, uh, a gift I received from Magnus Gabrielson, a good friend from Sweden. Uh, this is something he made himself. Absolutely beautiful. Now it's starting to really build up. So by going dry, it's almost foolproof. Can't can't really make a mistake by having starting off with too much water, which I know a lot of a lot of people do. So now it's starting to build. You can see it's starting to build. Lovely scent. Really, really nice. Stuff will last forever. It's a hard puck. I'm going to be uh, shaving with my Philharmonica. So um, this one is the Doble Temple. The um, 13, this is 13 sixteenths. Uh, yeah. I received this from my good buddy, Mark Gerges, out in Australia.
All right. Let's speed this up. Do my second pass, and then we'll wrap up. All right, very nice shave, and I'm gonna uh, just two passes. That's it. I'm gonna finish off with this uh, this lotion. It's a Panificio Veracino 70th Anniversary Special Edition. All right. That's very nice. Very nice shave. Great soap. I highly recommend this stuff. Great stuff. And it's not expensive. It's really not. Um, I'm going to keep on smelling nice for the rest of the day. I'm going to add some of this uh, Tobbs Luxury Cologne. All right. You guys have a great day. Enjoy the football games, and we'll talk to you soon. Take care.